Okay, now, today, something a little different. You know, most everybody on my channel knows I'm a Christian. <clears throat> I also have a Bible study channel for those that don't know. That link will be in the description. And the description is a little upside down grayscale triangle that's right down in this bottom right hand corner below the video. Or it's a little a V down arrow. Anyways, that's the description. That's where you can find links and information. Alright. Everyone here knows, <clears throat> or most everybody knows, that I'm a Christian. And uh, I just have something on my mind. And uh, something I'm fully aware of, many of us grew up in church. Oh, he's getting heavy. A time for me to leave? No. Stick around. Heavy revy coming? No. But seriously, uh, I know many of us grew up in church. One thing and another came along. People didn't treat you right. Preachers said or did something that, that disappointed you. Maybe parents not acting the way they should or doing things they ought to. And it's like, this is what God is about or church is about. Or I don't want the Christy, I don't want nothing to do with that. You know, and being in that place is like being in a place of unforgiveness. How does that relate? Well, <clears throat> well, let's take a let's break it down. Let's look at it a little bit here for a minute. If you're in a place where you walked away from God because you it's how you were treated by a person, people, family that's Sinners saved by grace to begin with, you know, we're all learning and we all have our own hiccups and hangups. We're sinners saved by grace. So if you've turned away from God because of people, it's like not forgiving somebody. You're holding on to this unforgiveness and all this stuff goes through your mind, what they did and what they said. And oh man, you're ready to just... <clears throat> and it just eats you alive. Eats you up. It's on your mind off and on all the time. Forgiveness is the solution. Because you, all of a sudden you got peace in your heart. Whew! What a weight off your back, man, because that'll binge over, man. That'll about bear you down, wear you down. All right, on the other hand, if you were going to church or you were a Christian and you were walking with God and you turned away from God because of how people or a person has treated you or how they've acted or things they've done and and there's bitterness in your heart and hurt. Remember, the root to hurt is pain. Pain creates hurt. So, forgiveness. Repentance is a minor adjustment. It's a change of mind. You know, and it's that simple. Now, the problem is, I'm not letting go. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Forget it. It's not worth it. It's too painful, even if I'm not saying it. I'm thinking it, and I'm not about to tell nobody. Because uh, if I have pain, that means I'm weak. I, nobody, I'm not telling nobody that. So you hold on to this stuff. Well... The devil knows. The enemy knows. 
As long as he can keep you from God, he can keep you wrapped up, tied up, and tangled all up in your pain and suffering and anger and keep you down, keep you pinned down. When you let it go, you get freed up. You get freed up. I'm here to tell you, you get freed up. So, what I'm actually saying here today is several things, really. Several messages. Several messages going on right here. But I'm trying to encourage you. You know, in your heart, there's a desire to want to get right with God, to want to get back in fellowship and find a, a good church. Oh, but there ain't no good church. Well, whoa, pause, pause. You know, God's forgiven me for many things. And he continues to because of Jesus. So who am I not to forgive and not to look upon my brother any harder than I look at myself? But then we always are our own worst critics. So therefore, we need to show grace and mercy to someone else. God's showing it to us. Every day, I got a breath to breathe, you know, and next one after that. So just be encouraged. You know, for whatever reasons, I don't care if you were walking with God and you ended up getting caught up into something and you just don't think, God don't love me no more. I've been too wrong. I've been too sinful. I, I've, I've done too much bad. I'm an alcoholic nowadays. And we say, God, no, I can't. And we hold him back. I'm here to tell you. The gifts of God. And the callings of God go without repentance. Meaning, he's waiting. His arms are open. And he says, come unto me. All ye, all you that are labor are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Come to me. My yoke's easy. My burdens are light, God says. Man, we put stuff on our back that just beat us down and on the inside in our soul we're just struggling along and we're just tromping through life. And Oh man, we are in the swamp and down in the mud and we're just barely pulling through it while we smile and do our thing and everything looks fine on the outside well everything's not fine just because it looks fine on the outside if you're not in that place God wants to bring you to the place he says my yoke's easy my burdens are light learn of me he says Matthew 11 28 come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest says the Lord so, I don't care what's taken you away, what's caused you to stop walking with God. God's just waiting. His arms are reached out wide. Think about the prodigal son. The prodigal son applies to prodigal daughters. It applies to prodigal daughters, mankind, all of us. God's waiting. We come to him, he says, he's going to, he throws a party. When we get saved, the angels celebrate. The angels celebrate when every, every time we get saved, someone gets saved. You know, I mean, God is waiting. First John 1, 9 says, if. Or when, <laughs> if we confess our sin, 
when we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, getting back on track with God is almost like getting saved when you got saved the first time. This isn't getting saved the second time. If you were walking with God, God just waiting to forgive you so you can move forward and have that peace and that joy and that hope in your soul that you once had, you can have it again. Be ye being filled, the continual filling of Him, the Holy Spirit. So, if you don't understand what I'm saying, and I'm speaking a foreign language, and I think for some it may be, please, I'm happy to break it down, I'm happy to explain it, and put it in a different way to help you understand what it is I'm saying. If you don't understand. There's no shame in that game. And it's not a game. It's just a way to help you remember it. There's no shame in it. If you don't. And if it doesn't make sense. Don't have to be embarrassed. Because there was a time I didn't understand. But I'm here to tell you God's real. He loves you. Has a purpose for you. And for those that have walked away from God, stopped their relationship with God, something you know. You may have forgot, but something you know. God says, good news. God says, the gifts of God and the callings of God go without repentance. You can put that in Google search. And it will bring up the Bible verse for that. I don't remember the Bible verse. But it says the gifts of God and the callings of God go without repentance. All I know is God put this message on my heart. And I had this need to present this today. I would go live but I've got things I got to go do here, work on my wife's car, but so I didn't go live. We can talk about this on a live stream. We can talk about this. Just give me your email and we can chat on the phone as an end result if you like. You can do emailing back and forth, whatever you're comfortable with. But God loves you. No matter where you are, no matter what you've done, that's for real. So, be encouraged. I know God's got a plan. And I really believe this is speaking to quite a few people out there. So I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, God's knocking. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door, right? Well, God's knock, knock, knocking on our door. Your door. He says, open it up and I'll come in. So, give God your heart today. He's waiting on you. And remember, He's calling. God put this on my heart. This isn't something I normally do on my channel. This isn't my Bible study channel, which is basic Bible study 777. That's my basic... That's the Bible study channel. Basic Bible study 777. Put it in the Google search. It comes up to the top. Or I will also put it in the description. And I look forward to hearing from you. So be encouraged. Bye for now. God bless. Keep looking up and never give up. One, because 
God will forgive you. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sin, Lord, I've sinned. Lord, I've blown it. Lord, I've fallen so short. Lord, I've disappointed you. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me, for forgiving me. And we let go. We let it go. Fall at the feet of Jesus. He is ready, willing, and can't wait to lift you up. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now. God bless. And I truly look forward to hearing from you. I truly, truly do. And if and you don't have to, but if this touches you, then that's great. And I praise God and I rejoice. And know that God's rejoicing. And God's throwing a party in heaven. The story of the prodigal son is a picture of God. The father ran out to meet his son. And threw a party when he came home. God is going to throw a party. God's going to rejoice. Remember, God, God leaves the 99. Just to find that one. Just to find this one. Or that one. That one and that one and that one and that one and that one. So God's calling you today. I truly believe that. And I know God has put this on my heart. That I do know. So, no matter where you are, in what country, state, don't matter. God loves you and has a plan for you. Through Jesus Christ, His Son. Thank God for, for Jesus. And for Christmas, where we can remember the gift is eternal life. The gift of God is eternal life. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Christmas is a reminder that Jesus Christ is the gift of salvation for every man, woman, and child on the planet Earth. John 3.16, check it out. Bye for now. Look forward to hearing from you.